Here is exactly how I was able to lose on average one to two pounds per week, which led me to losing 30 pounds of fat while working in sports. And the same principles my clients and I still use to this day to lose fat, build muscle, and keep the fat off for good. So I'm going to walk you through the full plan with the hopes that it helps you too lose 15 to 30 pounds of fat and build muscle. And I get it, guys. You know, losing 30 pounds might sound like a very big goal, right? Because especially if it's the end goal, it might sound like a lot or even 40 pounds or 50 pounds, whatever it is. And but when you really break it down and kind of take a step back, it's really just one to two pounds per week, you know, and like I said, I I thought the same thing when I first had to go on my journey, you know, losing 30 pounds, I was like, Oh, my God, this is big, massive goal. And how am I going to do it, you know, around my, you know, working 60, 70 hours a week, being in season, and just kind of being all over the place with my schedule always changing, not really having any consistency. But like I said, when you take that step back, with the right strategy is actually more achievable than you think, you know, despite being in the chaos of sports wor- of the sports world and just running around all the time. And like I mentioned, you know, some of you guys have probably heard my story from other videos, but like, you know, a few years ago when I did work in sports, you know, I was stuck trying to figure out how to lose the 30 pounds of fat that I gained in, you know, four months. You know, prior to working in sports, I was already a personal trainer, you know, helped, you know, over 100 people, you know, lose fat and build muscle. But at the same time, as a trainer, I had a lot more flexible schedule, had a lot more time to dedicate to my health and fitness. So transitioning to sports and being on the grind, especially on the sales side of things, it it just kind of left me stuck because I was in a very fast paced environment and having to do a lot of output and perform at a high level. And, you know, that feeling of being stuck was frustrating and defeating. You know, after I had, you know, gained all the weight, you know, I was trying to do all the things you're maybe doing right now, which is doing a bunch of cardio, you know, quote unquote, intermittent fasting uh, all day, but really, I was just starving myself and skipping meals with the hopes that it would help me lose fat, you know, going very inconsistently to the gym, because my schedule was always changing. And I'm not gonna lie, it was just very frustrating overall, kind of just being in this stuck cycle. And this is why I'm super passionate about sharing with you guys today this whole plan, because it's gonna help you just like it did me. And I was also relying on old routines, too, as well. Like I before sports, I was working out five days a week. I mean, five days a week, sometimes six. And in the world of sports, that was just no longer sustainable, because I just didn't have the time uh, to go to the gym, especially after who wants to go to the gym after long days of working, you know, 12, 13 hours, especially on game days, right? So I kind of felt like nothing was cooking. And I was on a island all by myself, Rebus Island, specifically, (laughs) for some of you guys in the sports world, you know what I'm talking about Rebus Island. But you know, as I kind of got tired of being overweight and not feeling confident in my skin, you know, not being happy, that's when kind of something changed for me. Right. While being in season, working, you know, halfway through the NFL season, I decided to make a change and figure out this problem. And I realized it was very simple once I took a step back, stopped looking at all over the internet, even though I had the knowledge from being a trainer, but you know, just took a step back overall and realized how can I make this as simple as possible and what routines can help me get the best results. And that's what's really changed, and that's what led me to create the system I now call the Athlete Shred Protocol. And it's how I was able to break through fat loss plateaus, get consistent weeks where I was losing fat and building muscle. And again, losing one to two pounds on average. Some months I even lost about like 10 to 12 pounds. And this is how you guys can do it too. So make sure to take your pen and paper, take some notes because this is going to be fire for you guys. And this is literally my whole athlete shred protocol step by step. So step number one is to dial in the right amount of calories, guys. So the biggest mistake I see when it comes to people, you know, in the world of sports that they make is that they just try to rely on just eating healthy 24 seven, or like I mentioned, fasting, but really just skipping meals and starving themselves all day. Right. And what this mistake does is when you're eating healthy all the time, you know, you kind of get caught in this guilt and shame when you're on game days or you're, you know, at client dinners or outings and you just try to avoid eating, you know, ballpark food or, you know, just try to pick the healthiest thing on the menu, even though you maybe don't want it, right? And what this can do, and like it did to me, was help, you know, cause me to start binge eating, right? Because I was super stressed and, you know, 
micromanaging myself with everything that I ate and everything had to be healthy. So I couldn't even, you know, really enjoy game days or really like kind of eat that food without beating myself up. And also eating healthy all the time is not sustainable in the world of sports just because you're on the go a lot, right? And what this mistake did with me trying to be a perfectionist and then, you know, binging at night, it just kept me in this cycle of gaining weight nonstop and also just being in this constant, you know, struggle of, you know, being in a plateau because I would put in this work during the week or do what I can and then just put all the weight back on just from binging or just trying to restrict myself nonstop and just having this over again, perfectionist mentality of trying to eat healthy. And why that's just not sustainable is because you're always on the go in sports, right? So I found out the first thing to do is getting the exact calories you need to eat daily, right? And this will do 70% of the work when it comes to losing fat guys and i'm going to drop the link to this calculator in the in the in the description below but you got to just find out the exact amount of calories you have to eat on a daily basis right and alan eric alan's vault alan aragon calculator he's super you know super big in the in my space you know he has a book called flexible dieting if you want to get that book feel free but this is the calculator he created that you can put in your numbers of your current body weight your target body weight. So if you're at 200 pounds, you want to get to 170. Like I did, you would just put those numbers in here. Average total weekly training hours. So how many times you currently exercise right now per week, you would just throw that in there. And then also how much uh, neat activity are you doing, which is like your steps throughout your day, you know, just how much are you active throughout your day, whether it's moderate, high, very high or low and at all. And then it's going to give you your number. And then if you, <laughs> you know, the fudge calculator, he calls it where, you know, if you eat, typically more than you plan in your dieting, he'll give you this number. And then the fudge factor is he'll knock it down an extra 10% if you're someone who tends to eat a lot more than they should, right? Or you could, if you're someone who's pretty under eating a lot, just do plus 10. Or you could do no no fidging overall, and then you calculate and it will give you that uh, number. And you might have to, you know, put your email and your name in just to even access the calculator, but it's totally worth it, guys. And when you have this number of calories, right? you will be able to, for the most part, you know, know how much you need to eat on a daily basis. And you won't have to eat healthy all the time, you'll be able to, you know, go out and have your favorite foods, we won't have to cut out carbs. And this will allow you to also instant institute the, you know, the 80 20 approach, which I do with my clients as well, which is 80% of the time eat clean, healthy, you know, prep food, and then 20% of the time have fun. So no matter what, if you are at the ballpark, if you are, you know, and you're working, right, or you're, out of season or you've seen on the weekend you're catching up with friends as long as you do that 80 20 rule every week that will give you sustainability right especially once you have the right amount of calories and two if you want to fast uh you know i've fasted multiple times throughout my career just being in health and fitness and just my journey alone and some of my clients currently fast right now where they do like 16 hours and uh, fasting and eight hours where they eat but as long as they hit their calorie numbers they don't need to fast, but some of them choose to, right? And that's the real, how you actually really fast, guys. If you are going to do that, you have to eat within that, the amount of calories you're supposed to within that window as well. So again, this alone will help you create good balance between healthy eating while still enjoying your life. So as I mentioned, I kind of skipped over this part, but here's how it works. Go again to the calculator that I just, I'll drop the link after. It will give you a target number. Again, sometimes these are not always perfect. It will give you a range of a good amount of the time. I kind of do a different, um, you know, formula that I couldn't really do on this call because it takes a little bit longer uh, on this video, but for I do for my clients, but just take this right now and you can get an average of where you need to be. Test it out for one to two uh, weeks and track your weight daily. First thing when you get up in the morning, right after you go to the bathroom and right before you eat or drink anything and see if you start to lose weight on average one to two pounds per week because that's the, that's the target. And if you are losing, great, stay at that number. But if you're not, just knock it down by an extra 100 calories, right? And just kind of test it out like that. And on top of the calorie side of things, guys, you want to eat at least 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of protein daily, right? This will help you continuously build, you know, keep the muscle you do have, right? And it's going to help you stay full throughout your day so you don't tend to overeat or snack throughout the day. And again, when it comes to losing fat, you know, having keeping the muscle mass you do have is super important. And again, this approach helps you and your body find where the sweet spot's at so you can start letting go of fat. 
So that's everything. First step number one is dialing the amount of calories. Step number two is building out the right workouts, guys. And again, a big mistake that I see people in the world of sports, especially because a lot of people in sports, including myself, had an athletic background, is that they their exercise is really just cardio, right? They're just you know doing a bunch of running all the time, or two, that they are going to the gym with no effective strategy or game plan when it comes to actually lifting weights. So they don't even know if they're getting the right results or if they're on the right track. And when you are doing a bunch of cardio, you actually are burning muscle along the way, especially if you're not taking care of your nutrition. And cardio also does burn muscle when in excess, right? And then two, if you're just kind of going through the motions, you're not actually having effective routine when it comes to working out, it's hard to stay motivated in the gym, especially when you don't know what you're doing, right? So when it comes to first thing is first is start setting the right standards for you. So I always say it only needs about three, maybe four workouts per week uh, when it comes to hitting the gym. But again, weightlifting is a major key to losing fat and it is required to build muscle. And you need to prioritize it over cardio in the beginning, at least. Cardio should be a supplement. It should ne- you should never be doing cardio more than the amount of times you're working out per week. And what a workout may look like for you is I always say do two compound lifts in a session and then have like three to four accessory exercises, do anywhere from two to three sets. And that should help you get in and out of the gym in 30 minutes or less. So what is a compound? Those those are more of like your barbell bench presses, your deadlifts, your squats, or your dumbbell chest presses, or your back rows. Those are kind of your compound movements and accessory exercises are more of like your lateral raises, you know, your arm exercises, you know, your leg extensions on a machine or your hamstring curls for your legs. And it's, it's really those, again, you want to have a proper balance of two, about two compound exercises and three to four accessories. And as long as you do that with your workouts, again, a, a big splits for my clients are, you know, three full body days or maybe a push pull legs, or, you know, if they do four days, two upper body days, two lower body days. So it's kind of whatever split works the best for you. But again, you can kind of construct those workouts just based off of two compound lifts and three to four accessory exercises, guys. And lastly, step number three is to make sure to prioritize your recovery and activity. So again, another big mistake I even made when I was in the world of sports is I neglected my recovery and my activity on a day-to-day basis. And I see this often a lot, especially now, especially for the people that are in season because they are working around the clock. And I know usually in the off season, it's a little bit more normalized schedule, like nine to five, nine to six, or eight to five, whatever it is in your in your perspective sport. But it's a little bit more manageable to catch up on sleep and you're, uh, make sure you're active throughout your day. But when most people are in season, just like I was, that's where everything's all over this place. Everything's chaotic and you kind of can't have this consistency to make sure you're taking care of just your well-being as a whole. And one big thing that I do with my clients now is just sleeping seven to nine hours per night. And even if they can't do it seven days a week, we try to aim for at least four to five days a week because you need to prioritize sleep if you want your muscle to grow. Right. If you're going to the gym, you're working out, or if you want to even get toned and lean, see your abs, feel more confident, kind of have that athletic body again. Sleep will be the most important thing. You could do your fitness and nutrition to a T, but if you're not getting sleep, you're not your muscles not going to grow. Your body's not going to let go of body fat, guys. And walking on the active side, you want to walk at least eight to ten thousand steps per day. And you can do this in many ways just than cardio or sitting on a treadmill at the gym. You can do this through playing sports, right? Doing pickleball if you're in like a pickup league or whatever, or just going for walks throughout your day, right? Because as long as you stay active, this is going to help your body let go of fat and around around the clock and kind of keep your metabolism working pretty high. Because the body's preferred way of losing fat is through steady state cardio. And steady state cardio, the most under undervalued and under over underrated way is walking, guys. As long as you stay active throughout your day, you w- and hit these steps numbers, you will lose body fat around the clock because you're staying active. So this is uh, what I do with my clients on the reco- recovery and activity side, outside of the working out nutrition, is you got to make sure to stay uh, hit your sleep, and that's going to help you stay energized throughout your day and hit your steps, guys. So in conclusion, all this takes under five hours per week to do, guys. And I know it might sound like, how the hell does this only take under five hours? Again, with the right strategy in place and how it may look for your specific lifestyle and like your typical week-to-week schedule, 
it does take under five hours per week. And this is the athlete shred protocol altogether. And what I do with my clients based off of their individual lifestyle and their, you know, what they do on a week to week and day to day basis. And you might be asking, well, is there any proof of this method working? Because how can it be this simple? Right? Well, here's some results. You know, Sam works in minor league baseball, you know, during the season, he's cranking out 60, 70, sometimes 80 hour work weeks. He got all these results while being in season, right? He lost 20 pounds of fat and five inches around his hips and his waist, right? And you can see the big difference between both of these photos right here, right? Or there's Bernadette who lost 15 pounds of fat and four inches around her hips and her waist. As you can see, look at the picture right here on the right. More happy, confident, you can tell, lost a lot of fat just you know, around her face, upper body, and even in her core right here. And you can see from the side views as well. And she, at the time, was a director of ticket sales in baseball and then transitioned into another role in sports, more on the event side. But look at that, crazy results. Or Devin here, who also is in sports, you know, works in the NBA, lost 25 pounds of fat and seven inches around his hips and his waist. And you again, see how much muscle mass he has more, how much more leaner he is just from both pictures alone. And lastly, Eli, who lost, you know, works in minor league baseball, lost 17 pounds of fat and five inches around his hips and his waist. And you can see right here, his abs are coming back in, love handles are starting to go away. And look at how much inflammation and body fat that he lost in his stomach alone and how much more muscle he has. So guys, that is the how you can consistently lose one to two pounds of stubborn fat every single week, which will lead you to losing anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds of fat overall and continuously build lean muscle and look your best, have more confidence, more energy, and just be performing at a high level. And if you follow this system that I just shared with you today and you do it right and you do it consistently, you too, again, like I said, will get those same results no matter if you're in season or out of season. And as long as you can do all this stuff, just like all my clients have done during the season, that will help you create sustainability for a lifetime. And you'll never have to worry about, you know, falling off once the season starts back up or, you know, losing and gaining the same, you know, 15 to 30 pounds over and over again, because you're good half the year, maybe, or during your down seasons. And then one season picks up, you fall right off track um, again. And this will help you break out of that shitty cycle. So overall, guys, I hope this, you know, breakdown was super helpful for you. And as always, if you're someone who's struggling out there in sports, you maybe are, you know, looking to make a change when it comes to your health and fitness, and you maybe don't know where to start, or you're kind of feeling stuck, just like I was, and all my clients were at one point, feel free to shoot me a message on LinkedIn or Instagram. We can kind of have a quick chat, see if it would make sense to work together and if or how I can even support you. But again, get a game plan for yourself and see what that would look like for you to, to do in order to lose you know, the fat that you're trying to lose and the muscle you're trying to gain. And as always, family, I will talk to you soon and have a great rest of your day.